Hello friends, welcome back. This is the second session of the interview questions with Jenny A. Last session we had five questions and we may have the similar number of questions here in the session. Let's get right away into the content. What are the ethical concerns which should be considered in development and deployment of Gen A models? The ethical considerations and the concerns connected to Gen A's evolution is strongly discussed. The ethical considerations in Generative A include the potential for generating any misleading or harmful content, issues connected to intellectual property, and the responsible use of AA in sensitive areas such as deep fake generation are all to be definitely considered. It's very crucial to implement safeguards to prevent misuse and to adhere with the ethical guidelines. There is a strong concern and I am sure in near future all will be addressed for sure. How does the concept of transfer learning apply to generative AI models? The transfer learning is increasingly applied in Gen AI by pre-training models on large data set and then fine-tuning them for any specific task or domains. This approach helps you in leveraging the knowledge gained from one task to improve performance on related tasks with a very limited amount of data and you could save a lot of time as well in this approach. Can you discuss any advancements in the Generative AI, recent advancements? Recent advancements have been tremendous and that include OpenAI's pre-trained models such as GPT-3, which has demonstrated remarkable amount of success. Gemini from Google, uh, which is BARD, is also showing very good success. There are also developments in the area of unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, multimodal generative models, allowing for more versatile applications. This is growing in a much faster pace than ever and we can expect more innovations. What are conditional generative models and how do they differ from unconditional models? Conditional generative models which include conditional GANs or conditional VAEs take additional information, that's conditioning information, into account during generation process. The additional information might be class labels or text descriptions or other context allowing more controlled and specific generation. Can you explain the basic concept behind generative adversarial networks, GANs? GANs consist of two neural networks. First is a generator and second is discriminator that is engaged in a continuous game. The generator creates a synthetic data and the discriminator evaluates it for the authenticity. One guy creates it, another guy checks it. The process continues until the generator produces realistic output that is really hard to distinguish from the real data. You must generate the best of the data and discriminate will validate it until it is going to the right extent where it is really superb if the process will keep on iterating. So that's what GAN is all about. More to follow and we'll have more discussions on the interview questions with Jenny A. And this is an interesting area. I'm sure you are liking it. If you like the channel content, please subscribe and also give a thumbs up. Thank you.